Hi everyone. Um, so today I learned something that I didn't know about, and it's shocking, and you might need to know about it too, so I'm going to share. Um, so basically I wasn't aware that the Girl Scouts and um, different abortion organizations around the country are working together. So you might want to think twice about uh, buying those cookies this year. And I'd just like to thank, um, Thy Maker is Thine Husband, Isaiah 54, 5 through 6 channel, who um, was the first person to make me aware about this issue. So thank you. And I'll pass the word along. <laughs> um, this is an article from LifeNews.com, um, dated March 8, 2019. Boycott Girl Scout Cookies, they, bar they partner with groups that promote abortion. Just a couple highlights from this article um, from right here. Today's Girl Scouts are a far cry from those of my youth, which trained us to put God and country before everything else. Today, God and the Girl Scout promise has an asterisk, meaning that the great I am in his moral absolutes can be replaced by anything, including oneself. Country is also taken a back seat. The emphasis is on global citizenship, which is fine unless you stop to consider that most of the world is not free and the world's values are often at odds with our own. It is little wonder that the Girl Scouts have taken a sharp left turn and can be found marching for abortion rights, gun control, and other radical feminist events like International Women's Day. The IWD website encourages participants to donate to charities that promote their causes. Quote, No matter which feminist cause speaks to your heart, there is an organization that will resonate with you. This list encomp encompasses programs fighting for reproductive rights, equal protection under the law, educational opportunities, political opportunities, end quote. The recommended charities include the National Organization of Women, Center for Reproductive Rights, Planned Parenthood, and Ultraviolet, which promotes the election of progressive, that is the new term for ultra-liberal liberal women. In fact, the Girl Scouts are celebrating the victory won by their alums in the 2018 midterms on its website, beginning with their star, Alexandra Osaki, uh, uh, something Cortez, sorry for butchering the name there, whose attributes much of her, who attributes much of her success to what she learned as part of this organization. Now, Girl Scout alums make up 72% of female senators and 60% of the women in the 116th Congress. Although the website tries to strike a bipartisan tone, it is no accident that, among this year's freshmen, Carol Miller is the only Republican, and she is much older, 68, than the rest. Her training in scouting was well before the feminist takeover that occurred in 1970. When feminist Betty Friedman was put on the National Governing Board, the Girl Scouts began purging their materials of all positive references to homemakers. Partnerships with Planned Parenthood followed, and the Girl Scouts adopted the new global agenda. Fortunately, there is now a good scouting alternative, the American Heritage Girls, and I don't know anything about them, so I can't confirm or deny. <laughs> But anyway, to be sure, there are many fine people still engaged in Girl Scouting at the local level. Unfortunately, the troops have no say in national policy, and they keep very little cook cookie money. So before you decide to embrace an International Women's Day celebration or buy the cookies, ask yourself, will the country be better off with more representatives like the young socialist Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez? If not, it's a good time to start your diet. I like how the end is kind of cute there. <laughs> and here's an article from CBN News. 
Girl Scouts group gives top award to teen for pro-abortion project. A Girl Scouts of America chapter has openly revealed its pro-abortion stance by honoring an Arizona girl for her work on so-called reproductive health justice. Life News reports that the Girl Scouts of Southern Arizona granted Megana Gopalan the Gold Award last November, the Girl Scouts' highest honor for her pro-abortion work. The group MyGirlScout.com or MyGirlScoutCouncil.com, sorry, has been documenting the organization's pro-abortion sentiments for years and discovered the news about the award last Friday. Uh, you might want to go check out that link if you want all the detailed documents, I guess. I'll leave it below in the description. Okay, I'm going to skip down a little bit, and then I'm right here. While the Girl Scouts organization says on its website, it, quote, does not take a position or develop materials, end quote, on issues relating to birth control, sexuality, and abortion, Christy Volansky, co-editor of MyGirlScoutCouncil.com, said the Girl Scouts have a, quote, cozy relationship, end quote, with the abortion industry. The Girl Scouts also denies having a relationship with Planned Parenthood. However, formal, former Girl Scout CEO Kathy Cloninger told NBC in 2004, quote, we partner with many organizations. We have, a relationship, we have relationships with Planned Parenthood organizations across the country, end quote. According to Life News, 17 Girl Scouts councils admitted to partnering with Planned Parenthood in a national survey in 2013. Other councils refused to discuss whether or not they're affiliated with the abortion giant. Man, that's scary. Anyway, um, moving on. In 2017, Archbishop Joseph Nauman, Newman of Kansas City broke his diocese's long-standing ties with the Girl Scouts over their relationship with the abortion industry. Uh, Newman or Nelman said, Girl Scouts contributes more than a million dollars each year. This is the big thing right here. Girl Scouts, quote, contributes more than a million dollars each year to the World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts, WAGS, an organization tied to International Planned Parenthood and its advocacy for legislation that includes both contraception and abortion as preventative health care for women, end quote. A million, over a million dollars. Anyway, And this is the other article that the other channel was sharing. Um, I'll leave all the links below. Um, her sound quality is better, so you might want to go ahead and listen to her video that she did. Um, I'll leave the link below. I'll leave all the article links below. This is really important, you guys. Um, I love you all. And even though this is somber news, um, vote with your dollars, right? So, um, I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.